Now I know a lot of you were expecting part two of the Forest of Pestilence build in Theo's room. I'm really sorry that's not going to be out this week, but I didn't keep an eye on my dates properly and next week is the Southern Invert Show. Hello and welcome back to Bug Realms. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. I saw you stare at me when I did that then. <laughs> it's really awkward. Fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> so as I said at the start, I am sorry that part two isn't out yet. Probably put it out next week because I don't think I'm going to have enough time to edit the, the Brighton video for you on the same day of release. As you know, I produce videos every Sunday. So yes, I've had to chuck this one in now for a little talk about the Brighton show, how you can come and see us if you wanted to, and the sort of things we are looking to buy. So it's on the 13th of November. So on the day this video is released, it will be exactly a week from today, 13th of November. It'll be in the Southwick Leisure Centre in Brighton and the doors open at 11 a.m. and close by four. But I do recommend getting there a little bit early if you're coming along because the queues get pretty big. Now the Brighton show or Southern Invert show is probably my second favorite show that's created by Invert Shows UK. My first being the Western show, which is the first show we ever went to. Is that the one in Bristol? Yes, okay. yeah, that's the, the, the first I've ever been to and it is my favorite. It's really easy for me to get to as well. And I just love that show. But the reason Brighton is my second favourite is because of the night before atmosphere. <laughs> it's, it's still not as cool as the BTS when I go to the BTS, but it's still really, really nice that you could get to see by Brighton Seafront, you get all the pubs and clubs. And we're actually staying in a Premier Inn on North Street, I think it is, which is closer to the pubs and the other Premier Inn is closer to the show. So there's my priorities. Um, <laughs> The reason we're actually going to be staying closer to the pubs is we're having a night out for Danielle for her birthday yes, and you're birthday. going to be how old? 31. Yes, I got that right in my mind so <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's what it was going to be. So her 31st birthday. Now her birthday is actually on the day of the show but we're going to be celebrating it the night before. Yeah. So if anyone wants to meet us out for drinks we will be in the main well, I think it's the main city centre park. It's wherever I went for drinks before. And there's a lot of food places there as well. So it's kind of all in one sort of area. And then 20 minutes drive the other direction is the show. Now we're getting a lift up from Beth, from Arachnobeth's Pets. So if you haven't seen her YouTube channel, check it out. I don't think she's uploaded for a little while, but she does tend to do her show footage and occasionally does updates as well. And she's got a really, really amazing collection. So please make sure to check her out, especially if you're into the tarantula side of the invert hobby. Before we continue this video, did you know that Bug Realms is affiliated with the Spider Shop? So when you next need a stunning new tarantula, some healthy live food, well needed equipment, or just in the market for something unusual, please head over to the Spider Shop via my personal and unique link in the description below. This won't cost you anything extra, but it gives me a little back in return for your loyalty. Thanks guys, now back to the video. So we want as many of you as possible to come and join us on the night before. It doesn't matter whether we've met you before, whether you're a YouTuber, whether you're a viewer, whether you're a subscriber, it doesn't matter. We would love to have as much company as possible because I know a lot of the traders are probably gonna to stick to the other side of the town because they have to be up early the next day. And they're normally the people that I do have drinks with. And I don't think there's that many of the YouTube community coming along to this one. So comment below if you're going, make sure to read the comments so you can see which of your favorite YouTubers are also attending. Now, if you wanna come and find us at the show, Danielle will be wearing her Disciples of the Round Bug Rounds t-shirt. The one she's wearing right there. What I'll be wearing, I don't know, cause I, I'm actually thinking of getting a new hoodie. <laughs> I don't you? <laughs> no, because I can't afford both of us cause that would be like 50 quid. And <laughs> So I didn't, I should have recorded this bit separately. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm actually going to order that or not, but it will have my original logo on it this time, rather than the Project Paradise logo that we had on, because that project is kind of uh, it's slowing down for the moment because of my lack of space to keep the stick in sets. 
So what are we looking for then? This was the main purpose of the video, what we're there to look for. Now, you may be confused as to why we sat on the sofa here as before I was in an armchair in the corner. It's not just because Danielle is joining me in the video, it's because we've actually had a bit of a move around of the room, something that you will see in future videos, and we have some more new shelving, and this is our display shelving. So it's the cube shelving that you see, and each cube is going to have an identical enclosure in each one, and it's gonna be built up over the next couple of years probably of really nice acrylic enclosures they're all going to be top openings so there's going to be no kind of door frames in the way of the visual and i will look at installing little lights on them too so we are going to go for a whole new display in this room now it's not just going to be tarantula displays most of the tarantulas are actually kept in another room although higher up on the shelves maybe we will have one or two if they have a really nice display but otherwise it's going to be different inverts in each one and they're going to be kind of um, displayed as well as I could. They're all going to be scaped enclosures as well. So the main aim is this almost full wall of display enclosures. So that's something you can look forward to on the channel. I'll aim to try and film each individual one. But as I said, we're going to be doing it slowly over time. So one of the main purchases I will be looking for is, well, definitely at least one of these enclosures. I know which ones I have in mind you'll see when it comes to it but if I can afford to I might get a second one maybe a third I'm not sure depends <laughs> it depends how finances go to be honest with you because the livestock is the exciting thing right and I quite often find when I go there I'm like oh that enclosure is pretty but that's only practical for me that that's an aesthetic yeah. thing like I can stick them in a tub and they'll be perfectly happy so the animal will still have its needs met and I'm like, oh, do I go on the on the livestock or do I go on the enclosures? So it really depends how much, how many live animals and the prices of the live animals um, that I purchase. If your refund goes in by there. And if my refund goes in there, <laughs> yes. So Danielle's son or my stepson spent 140 pounds of my money on the PlayStation Store <laughs> uh, while we weren't paying attention to what he was doing with the controller. So although he bought Modern Warfare 2 which is really good, good choice. He also bought Ghostbusters, but I needed that money. I needed that money for the show. So I, I actually <laughs> contacted the PlayStation. They've sent me a refund, but it's not in my bank yet. So fingers crossed it's there in time for the show or before the show, because I actually need to take cash out. Now I've seen a lot of people asking about whether they should bring cash or card at the shows. When it comes to invert shows and BTS and C's and things like that, I always take cash. Um, I bring card as a backup but I always bring cash because it's not all set traders, it's not all businesses at these shows. You also have just hobbyists like myself, um, even some of the other YouTubers, they, they just have surplus stock from their hobby, whether they're selling on captive bred uh, animals that they've bred in their own homes or whether they're just selling on some of the purchases that they no longer want anymore. So I would make sure you bring cash because guys like that are not gonna have a card machine because they're not a business. So hopefully that answers that question that a lot of you do ask. So what else am I looking for? Well, in dry goods, I'm looking for more ideas to put in my substrate blends because I'm still researching, still putting a lot of effort into my different substrates. I have some secret substrate ideas in mind that we may get to down the line, but I want to further my research into isopod substrate. So I like to make a very living soil, as it were, for them, packed full of goodness. So that will be what I'll be looking for under dry goods. Whether I find anything that kind of hits my eye or not, I don't know. Um, substrate wise, for animals that live not necessarily isopods, other animals. I may pick up a cocoa fibre brick just for the tarantulas. May get sand if we find a particular animal that likes sand. I have been wanting a desert hairy scorpion for a long time. So they're kind of like a, a beigey colour, like a blondy colour. They're, they're a lot more active and out than the... What, they go in sand? Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll live in like a, a sandy environment, mm -hmm. unlike the Asian forest scorpions that I keep in there, which will have a very more, very humid and dark enclosure mm -hmm. so your desert ones tend to be out a bit more they're a bit more aggressive as well so in a display enclosure I have an idea in mind for one but whether I pick one up or not at this show I don't know again it depends on finances um, I'm always going to be looking for more isopods I've been 
doing well with the breeding. I think we've yeah, been doing we have been we've doing been well. doing really really well, which means we are getting things right. There is probably less than five species out of the what thirty to fifty that we own. I haven't counted for a while that are not breeding yet, uh, and the rest pretty much the rest are, aren't they? Yeah. Some slowly, um, some have had real large broods of offspring. So we are definitely doing something right, which is why I just want to keep pushing and learning with those and figuring out the ones that aren't breeding, what I can do to kind of push that, to encourage that to happen. So isopods is covered, possibly a scorpion's covered. As for cockroach species, I'm not sure. If they, there's something new that really catches my eye, I'm, I may take that on because I've been enjoying breeding cockroaches as well. So uh, they're not really your cup of tea though, are they? So as much, no, I didn't think so. But uh, they're always useful for live food if you get surplus. So that's really, really handy. And then we're gonna get on to what hasn't been brought up on our channel that much lately, and that is the tarantula side of things. So I am still keeping them. I am keeping them in a separate room which is kind of discouraging to me because I am so used to in the realm before coming home late at night putting all my lighting on the shelves and admiring my tarantulas. My average day off now is get up, baby crying, toddler wanting attention, Danielle getting stressed, <laughs> like it's, it's, it's a <laughs> lot going on for the whole day, right? I find my days off a lot more stressful and more time consuming now than my days at work. And my, my average work day is getting up, sorting things out at home, going to work and coming home at like one half one in the morning. And I can no longer go and admire those spiders. And the reason we don't have them in this room where we keep everything else is just because of the kids. So it, it's, whether I want to get more or not is, is kind of tricky. I do want more, but it's whether I can admire them, whether I can have that that boost back to go and see them, whether I can position them somewhere, maybe in here that's completely out of reach that I can enjoy them and give Danielle her room back because I've got two whole shelving units of, of spiders and I am decreasing them. I decreased them when I moved. I sold I more of them last show. <laughs> she did tell me I didn't have to do that. But this isn't actually a very big room that we're in. It's a reasonable size room to live in. It's not a reasonable size room when it's a family room and you have all your animals in here as well. So we're trying to keep all the animals to the sides of the room. So I don't know, I've been wanting to get back into my African species. So may keep an eye out for some Africans. I do miss my darlingy. Um, and Kate actually offered me a baby darlingy. What colour? Kate. Uh, what colour? They're, they're the ones with a little horn that I had. They're, they're grey. But they're cool. They, they, they web up. They're really, really nice. So I may keep my eye for certain African tarantulas. And any other tarantulas are things that I can try and convince Danielle to get into them for. So if I spot her going, oh, that's really nice. I might kind of encourage her to have her own pet. Um, I also had the idea of it would be nice if I could pick up a small tarantula for each of the kids, although it won't actually be theirs as such. It will be something well, it will I can be theirs, raise. It will be but... theirs, but I look after it. Yeah. But the problem with that is I'd want it small so that it grows up with them, but then I don't want it to be male and die within like five years. That That's, that's the problem. Mm. So I, I really would like a, a female tarantula, a sex female tarantula for... Um, Theo and Hazel. Hazel is my youngest one, the baby. As Lexi actually already has her own. Uh, she has a ground stola rosea. It's a cool it, Well, it was poetry, yeah, Bruce. <laughs> was poetry, but they've done more research into that now and found them both to be actually rosea. Um, and that spider is currently living with Amy from Pet Rock and Roll because she's in search for a male. So if you have a male of the ex poetry, um, please contact Amy because it would be great to breed my eldest daughter's spider. That would be really, really cool. So there isn't really much else I can say in regards to this show. It would just be really nice to come and see you guys, to say hello again. Um, and we're just going to have a good time partying. Yes, so I'm, I'm looking forward to the party as much as I'm looking forward it's to the show. It's been a very long time. It's it has, me. yes. Because this... <sighs> we're not new to parenting. But new to this baby and uh, anyone who's a parent knows how 
tricky it can be. So Especially when you didn't do it for nearly 12 years. Yes, yeah. It's nearly two for me. Yes, a tough gig. Worth it, but a tough gig. <laughs> so um, we're going to really let loose on this one. Time away. Time to just get bladdered. Enjoy your birthday. Yeah. Go there. Go to the show. And everyone needs to help convince Danielle to get into spiders. Okay? Because um, otherwise that side of things in this channel is going to decrease. Because I can't just keep taking up the space for something that I she can't mind. enjoy too. I mind because it's your space. I don't really so. spend time in the bedroom. I need to sleep in there. I know. But I also don't like the way the shelving look in there. It's ugly. So I need to get some nice display shelving in there if I'm going to keep them in there. We will see. Anyway, I'm just rambling on, so I think we may as well just end this video. I just want to let you guys know that the show is happening, that we will be there, that we'd love to see you. We'd love to say hello to you. If you want a photograph, we'll have a photograph. If you want to come and shake a hand, shake a hand. If you want to come and drag Danielle away from me so I can do my shopping in peace, then... Whoa, you calm can... down. <laughs> I don't just tell you when you do your shopping. No, she's actually very, very good. Um, and also, let me know if you want me to film the show, because... I'm actually getting a bit bored of filming shows. I'm, I'm more enjoying filming the pickups. And I've noticed that in the last like two years or so, or, the, or at least in the last year, because we've had COVID, that my show videos are not getting the views anymore, but the pickup videos still are. So I suppose once you've seen one show, you've seen them all. So if you want to see a load of my show videos, a lot of them are on my old channel. Um, and there's one or two on here. BTS is on this one, I think. So you can check those out. But I kind of just want to enjoy the day this time. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll film the night before instead on my I was phone. literally just thinking that. And I was thinking, why don't you just film like cl clips yeah. for the night out? Who wants a shenanigans video <laughs> instead of a show video? Because that'll take all the pressure off me filming the show. I don't even have to bring my camera then. I can just film everything off my phone of all the, the craziness that we'll get up to the night before. So if you want to be in the video and you want to have be a part of this craziness video make sure to come and find us the night before because we can't find many people the night before there's, there's a decent amount of people going on the day we want the night before come and celebrate her birthday <laughs> please come and join us it'll be a good laugh so i think that's going to be it for today's video <sighs> probably be <laughs> the part two of the video next week and then part three and then we'll get into the pickups so make sure you stay tuned if you want to see the pickups video. It's just going to be a bit later than most of the other YouTubers out there. So, yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care. See you at the show. If not, I will see you on here next week. Bye. Bye.